Hi, I'm Kami Hola. I live in a gym in the Caribbean called Barbados. It's just 166 square miles, a small population of 270,000 persons. We gained independence from Britain approximately 45 years ago. In Barbados, good children, they go to school for free. Yes, they travel on our buses for free. There's free lunch, they get free books, we also have free health care. In our 45th year of independence, I have a concern. And my concern surrounds the importance of maintaining the Barbados way. Without a Freedom of Information Act, or without meaningful integrity legislation, the Barbados way will become a thing to be talked about as something in the past. We must do whatever it takes to maintain the Barbados way. Thus, my concern is about the lack of a Freedom of Information Act in our 45th year as a fledgling democracy, and I dare say one of the most successful black democracies in this world. Open government is a governing doctrine which holds that citizens have the right to assess the documents and proceedings of the government to allow for effective public oversight. Transparency in government is often credited with generating government accountability, transparency, which often allows citizens of a democracy to control their government, reducing government corruption, bribery, and other malfeasance. Some commentators contend that an open, transparent government allows for the dissemination of information, which in turn helps produce greater knowledge and societal progress. Contemporary doctrine of open government finds its strongest advocates in those non-governmental organizations keen to come to what they see as an inherent tendency of government to lapse, whenever possible, into secrecy. Prominent among these NGOs are bodies like Transparency International or the Open Society Institute. They advocate the implementation of norms of openness and transparency across the globe. I argue that such standards are vital to the ongoing prosperity and development of democratic societies. Advocates of open society often argue that civil society, rather than government legislation, offers the best route to, to do more for transparent administrations. They argue that an independent and current press, printed or electronic, is often stronger guarantor of transparency. And I must dare say that even social media like what I'm doing. So such things along with print and electronic media can keep politicians and governments in check. Along with an interest in providing more access to information, it goes a, a long way in dealing with concerns of the average citizens and many things which are actually done in private by our governments. The question must be asked, can governments be trusted? I dare say to Beijing's, we must lead the government and not let the government lead us like sheep. Speak to your representative, my friends, about the need for open government and the importance of the need for a Freedom of Information Act in Barbados in the year 2013. We cannot take what we have for granted. What we have today is what was worked hard for by our ancestors. We are just custodians for our future generations. Thank you.